everyone. Welcome to Long Live Rock with me, Lad from the Woods, bringing old and new classic era style rock to the young and the old. Exposing the new young bands to the boomers and the like, and exposing the older bands and newer bands to the younger generation that I can find where there's good music being made, and there's lots. All right, I stumbled on this while I was booting around tonight, just a half hour ago. I know the song, you will too, that anybody that's older. I'm just going to make this big so I can see it better. Anyway, it's under Dave Mason, and uh, but the band, Dave Mason's an old timer from our uh, our days. But uh, anyhow, um, he him and this band, uh, it, it, he calls them. They call themselves Dave Mason and the Quarantines. Quarantines, and they're doing uh, the Joe Walsh, well, Joe Walsh, uh, Joe Cocker that made hugely popular the song "Feeling All Right." And check the check out the name list in the band they call the Quarantines: Dave Mason, Mick Fleetwood, Sammy Agar, Michael McDonald, and John McPhee, Tom Johnson, and Pat Simmons from the Doobie Brothers. Okay, I mean, talk about a lineup, and of course, a great, great, great song, and Dave Mason, one of the great voices of rock and roll, and from, like I say, the early 70s, and uh, yeah, let's just let this one, I'm uh, just going to smallify it so I can see the camera so I can turn everything on. All right, there we go. So, we'll just back that up for you guys. Let, let this one rip, because it's a good version. Seems I've got to have a change of scene Every night, have the strangest dream Prison by the way it might have been Left here on my own a sort of well I've got to leave before I start to scream Someone locked the door and took the key of you that don't know and he certainly doesn't look like when it look, looks like he does that was Dave Mason and he certainly doesn't look like he used to if you look at one of his old record albums you'll see what I'm talking about but brilliant performer songwriter excellent all around anyway uh, the man on the would be our right I guess is how I'm seeing that the white hair and the beard that's Michael McDonald he's back with the Doobie Brothers um, he he had an era of the Doobie Brothers I didn't really like and went very poppy 80s sound but be that as it may he is a fine re-addition to the band for today's band and they're playing some of that music and it's all right um, I just I'm bigger 
you know, my Doobie Brothers thing is the harmony, you know, guitar rock band. That's how I liked them. But so, I'm not saying that I dislike all of Michael McDonald's stuff with the Doobie Brothers. Some of it's pretty good. So, but he's been away from the band for a long time, but it's good to see him back with the band. And the bass player, the guy with the uh, goatee, white goatee and long hair, that's John McPhee. Uh, he's been with the Doobie Brothers like forever. And he's one of the finest bass players uh, you can find. So, and of course, Mick Fleetwood, how can you not recognize Mick Fleetwood? <laughs> that big Frankenstein behind the kit. Anyway, and he's a goddamn good drummer. Let's get back to it. Well, there you go. And in what world do you get to have Sammy Hagar duetting with Michael McDonald and singing back and forth? I mean, you know, the pop era of the Doobies and Sammy Hagar, the second lead singer for Van Halen, and not to mention accomplished uh, uh, all by his own, alone uh, by himself. He actually has um, Michael Anthony from Van Halen as his bass player for a lot of the stuff he does. And uh, what a lot of really people don't know, because, I mean, the, the Van Halen brothers eclipsed everybody in that band. But uh, Michael Anthony is a hell of a bass player, okay? Uh, go back and listen to some of his stuff and concentrate on the bass, and you'll be like, oh, yeah. Uh, we sure have underestimated Mr. Michael Anthony, I have to say. Anyways, because uh, I've seen him do a cover of uh, Won't Get Fooled Again, and the bass line on that is, uh, you know... <laughs> It's a big bass line and a hard working bass line and he nails it so good. He gets it. He gets the idea of that, you know, getting that swing kind of with the bass too. So anyways, I'm not a bass player, but uh, I love bass, obviously. Anyway, I thank you all for coming. Please comment, like, si subscribe and share if you can, please. It helps the channel and we get the word out to, to the world that La Rock is not dead and we'll spread the rock and roll gospel. Anyways. If you want to help out the channel and me, there is links down in the description. And if you want to find out more stuff, well, there's like these cards at the end of the video. <laughs> Check them out. All right. So everybody be good out there. And if you can't be good, be good at being bad. And remember, long live rock. Oh, and we will be doing the new ACDC album. I have not forgotten it. So I love the new ACDC album. So anyway, soon.